Oh, hello there and welcome to What The Math. So the other day I was trying to buy pizza and I accidentally paid for my pizza with this instead of this. And you can see there, there's, it's a, you're really easy to make a mistake. They're both green, relatively same size. Uh, one has a dude or a king, and another one has a lady or a queen. Uh, very similar money. And unfortunately they were very close to in, uh, together in my wallet and I accidentally paid with this. So this is a 20, however, this is a 10,000. Now, do you think I lost money or I gained money? So let's find out. Let's use a website that I like to use for currency conversion. And that's actually our topic today, currency conversion. And let's find out if I actually lost money or if I've gained some. The website we're going to use is called xe.com. It's been around for years and years and years, and it's probably going to be around for a very long time. So you're more than welcome to use it whenever you need to convert money. And it's very, very convenient, very, very easy. So um, right here we have Korean's, uh, South Korean won and Canadian dollars. I'm going to convert my 20 Canadian dollars into 10, uh, into Korean won. So I paid 20 Canadian dollars. And how many Korean won was that? And unfortunately for me, it was 18,665 Korean won, which means that I actually lost 8,600 won, 8,665 won, uh, because what I paid was a lot more than 10,000 won that I had to pay. In other words, I lost. So there you have it. Anyway, let's talk about currency conversion a little bit more. And let's start with example 23 on page 65. This is what you'll most likely see on your test as well. This will be very similar. You'll have uh, something called a conversion table that looks like this. And there's really one rule to this table. You always start reading from the left. So this is where you start reading from here. Uh, so this is a currency, uh, currency you're converting from, from this currency. And then you're reading it to one of these currencies that you're converting to. So it's left to right or left to top in a sense. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to convert American dollars, USD into British pounds, I would start here and go all the way down or right until I find British pounds right here. And then I circle this value. And this is the value I'm going to be multiplying by in order to get a uh, British pound. So for example, 100 American dollars is 100 times 0.64, which is approximately 64 British pounds. Um, and that's really how these tables work. So let's look at some of these examples here. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this is American dollars. This is, uh, this is British pounds. And this is actually Swiss francs. CHF is Swiss francs. But you don't have to know this. Uh, the problem will usually tell you what this is. So one of the questions here is converting francs into pounds. Specifically, we have to convert 10,000 francs into British pounds. So imagine you're going from Switzerland, you have your 10,000 francs, and you want to find out how many British pounds is this going to be. Uh, so that's the question. How do we do this? Well, we start here again. We start with the, uh, with the money that we have, which is our Swiss francs. And we keep going until we meet British pounds, which is right here. So this is right here and the value is 0 0.07. In other words, what we have to do is, so we're going to take our 10,000 francs and multiply it by 0 0.070, which will give us 7,000 British pounds. So uh, that's not exactly how this is written, but you get the point. This is the British pound. Eh, there it is. No, it's not. Err, failed. Take two. Beautiful British pounds. There you go. That's better. Uh, all right. So and that's and that's the answer. Seven thousand British pounds um, is what ten thousand francs would be. So this is relatively easy, pretty simple. Just remember that whenever you're reading these tables, you always start in from the left, so left column, and then you're uh, looking for the top column, cro uh, the crossway between the top and the left. And so it's from these monies from the, from the left column to this here. And usually you'll have all three currencies on both sides as well. Now, another much easier way of doing this is, of course, using your GDC, your calculator. So let's try that with the GDC. And let's uh, basically come up with a function, which is, should be pretty easy because it's a linear function, for how to convert British pounds into, no, sorry, uh, Swiss francs into British pounds. And first, what we have to decide is what is going to be our X and what is going to be our Y. So in this case, X is going to be francs. And Y is going to be... British pounds, GBP. 
So our X axis is going to be francs and our Y axis is going to be uh, pounds. And if you remember your algebra from grade seven and eight, basically this is going to be a very simple function of y equals 0.7x. And that's what we're going to enter in our GDC. So go into your y function, 0.7x, and then enter, graph it. It's going to look like this. And of course here you can either go by a calc and find value, or you can just go into the table and look at these values. So for example, 10, uh, 10 francs is seven British pounds or seven British pounds is 10 francs. If you want to find, uh, you know, you have 20 British pounds, how many francs is it? Uh, well, it's actually 29, uh, 20.3 British pounds is actually 29 francs. So that's a very, very easy way of doing this. You can do the same thing for Korean one and uh, um, Canadian dollars, American dollars. Um, and if you need a very large value, if you want to know a specific value, you can just use calc and calculate. Let's just say I have 400 francs. How many? Oh, okay. So I have to change the window here. Um, we're going to change our window to maybe something a little bit bigger. So I just changed my window to a uh, value of, of a thousand, which will make it a little bit easier to calculate using values. So, um, here I have my X at. 400 francs, I have 400 francs. How many British pounds is this? Well, it is 280 British pounds. And that's a really, really fast, really easy way of solving these problems using your GDC. And hopefully this is helpful for you because this currency conversion will come in handy in real life as well. All right, thank you for watching and good luck. Bye-bye.